Uh, kind of uh, just the win against Baylor after you all, he talked about how you all got back and he got off the plane and told you that you deserved that win. What did that mean to you and what was your perspective at that moment? Yeah, I mean, I appreciate, you know, Ice and I have been through a lot together. Um, you know, his time here has been obviously um, not the smoothest. Um, he's the lone survivor in, a, I think, five-man recruiting class. Um, and so we've, we've got a pretty special bond. And, I appreciate that he wants to try to acknowledge my presence, but this is a player's game. And at the end of the day, those guys got to go out there and, and play um, and compete at a level to give themselves a chance. And they're doing it against <clears throat> the best teams and coaches in all of college basketball. So to see them stick together and find a way to get the job done on Saturday was very rewarding. Obviously, Bryce was a big focus of that win, too. What was it like to see him really kick into gear, especially late in the game? Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, but he did the little things. You know, his defensive presence was as good as it's been all year. <clears throat> he took good shots, made his layups, and made his free throws. And so for a guy who scores and can make difficult baskets, making the easy ones allows you to, you know, take that next leap. And I hope it's something that we can build on as a team. Do you feel the preparation philosophy in terms of killing Giants, taking out number one teams, really good highly ranked teams? Uh, did you change anything? You knocked off Kansas, you know, Baylor last two times. What makes you so good at it? Uh, I'm not good at this. I pray a lot. Uh, I try to study this game as much as possible. And then, you know, we've built a group of players who believe in us and each other. And so they try to do what we ask them to do, really. And many times when that happens, and we're all on the same page, we have a chance. Um, I don't want to sound Eric. I mean, I expect us to win every time we play. And to me, <clears throat> there's some significance, no doubt. No one will ever be the first team to beat the number one team in our program again, right? It may happen again, but this team owns that, and they should be proud of it. Um, at the same time, you know, we go into every game with a good plan, and we expect if our plan works, then we'll have success. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. That's what makes this hard. The margins are very thin um, and at the same time you got to be able to move forward and so we haven't talked much about it since we got back because we don't get to start up 6-0 uh, tomorrow we got a different task against a really good team and a really good coach again at home I think ice you know after Texas Tech spoke about where this team was mentally and then on Saturday night after the game you said you saw a determination you hadn't really seen from this group what flipped between Thursday and, and Saturday do you think um I don't know, man. We we we, um, we we have honest conversations with each other uh, often about individuals, about our team, and yeah, I think it's, it's healthy. We we say it all the time: healthy families talk, <laughs> and we're a family. And sometimes that talk is uncomfortable because you need people to do more or better than they're currently doing. But if you got the right people who care about the group, then they can accept their responsibility in that in that deal. And we've had guys accept their responsibility for us to play better. And, um, you know, again, I'm proud of their response. But at the end of the day, it's, it's, a, it's about players. And I think it's more about those guys believing in each other and giving themselves a chance. Our turnover numbers were down. So, you know, we didn't shoot ourselves in the foot. The limited possessions that we had, we made our free throws. You know, just the little things that it takes to have success in this league. Were there some healthy conversations between Thursday and Saturday? Yeah, there always there always yeah. is. Um, there's been healthy conversations from starting yesterday. We were off Sunday because uh, they needed it, I needed it. Um, but came back yesterday, you know, understanding that tomorrow's game is going to be a lot different. Um, just as difficult, a different set of circumstances, playing at home maybe, you know, crack can help us a little bit. I look forward to seeing our students back, you know, in full force. And, yeah, those conversations don't stop whether, whether you win or lose because it's part of the process. How does the honesty that I showed on the radio after the game, you know, saying he thought the loss was unacceptable and just all that he was doing, how, how does his honesty to assess the team's performance, how does that play into when you're having those family conversations you talked about? Yeah, I mean, you know, all teams go through this stuff, you know. You know Baylor a week ago today, and probably at this moment, it's pretty, riding pretty high. <laughs> you know? So you how fleeting it is, especially in a league like this. 
and don't start looking down your schedule hoping that it's just going to change. I think they're playing in about 30 minutes in Morgantown themselves. So if you, if you can't have a group of guys who can figure out how to deal with adversity, then it's going to be hard to climb out of a hole because the other teams don't feel sorry for you. They're going through their own stuff. And so everybody's trying to figure out that in this league, you got to fight for every single thing you want, not just wins. You got to fight for good offensive possessions. You got to fight for rebounds. You got to fight for space on the floor to catch the ball cleanly. And when you do things well enough, you'll, you'll be in the ball game. But this league is also one where you can play well and lose. <laughs> There's no guarantees. I've uh, been in a lot of leagues, and there are many leagues around the country where if you play well, especially at home, if you play well, you're going to win.